I'm laughing my ass off right now after I figured this out. This is the most hilarious thing I've ever figured out. And it's hilarious because it's true. <laughs> there's no other there's no other way for something to be hilarious other than it being true. So let me tell you, there are a lot of chicks doing OnlyFans. A lot of chicks doing OnlyFans. People call you people use throw around the word misogynistic as an insult because you're tired of women's shit. But let me tell you Women, you love men like me or you or any, any one of us who are quote-unquote misogynistic because we, you know, tell women the truth that they don't want to hear. I mean, just it's just the way it is, guys. It's just the way it is. We tell women what we, uh, you know, what they don't want to hear. And uh, they talk about them like freaking, uh, they talk about, oh, female empowerment. We are so empowered by the idea that we can produce content with our bodies where we can make money. By just having sex and stuff. We could show off our bodies and have people love them. Which apparently is supposed to be liberal, but I'm telling you that none of these chicks are very liberal because they they don't, uh, just say. Anyway, the point being is their target market is actually the misogynists. Why is that? Because the misogynists are the ones who are fucking viewing their OnlyFans content and the ones subbing to their only fans and uh, basically the ones who are paying for everything right they're paying for the only fans they're making money you know because of the misogynists who you know just want to jack off that's all they want to do and uh, apparently apparently that's okay even though they hate the miso misogynists you know but the only fans chicks are like no I might hate the I might hate misogynists but they're making me rich Tragic. Tragic. Anyway. Go subscribe to, uh... Oh, did you know PTI had an OnlyFans? I've seen the leaks. She's horrible. Horrible human being. Get her off the internet!